Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here to do your lunchtime reading. Yay! This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Um, and thank you everyone for all of your support, the likes, subscribes, comments. You guys, it is such a gorgeous day out. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the week, okay? Um, yeah, this is the reading where you get to sit, kick your feet up, enjoy your lunch, right? Um, and I not only call out what sign you are when I see it, but um, or what you could be, right? But also possibly what you're having for lunch. So it's just, <laughs> it's an additional confirmation. But um, yeah, it's a fun reading, right? So... Here we go. Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective? And at the end of the reading, also, you guys, I have your fortune cookie. So stick with me to the end, right? I'll read your fortune. All right. Somebody's coming to you as well, honestly. I don't know why. I'm getting the feeling like um, there's two people talking about you. I feel like there's two people talking about you. Somebody may even be paying um, uh, a tarot card reader to give them a reading on you. Because they're, t yeah, they're, I don't know who this is. Let's see. Clarify this Knight of Sides. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that they're talking about you. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're getting some kind of advice or information from a tarot card reader. Um, they're probably paying them money for it. Okay, so this is a, they're getting personal readings about you. Um, oh, but the reader now all of a sudden is like, yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm feeling like you are um, somebody held in very high regard. Okay. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like, um, yeah, the reader, they don't want to, they don't want to get karma for this. So, wow, you're very powerful. Whoever you are, they can't even get a reading on you. Um, this high priestess is like, no, I'm not touching that one. I'm not touching that. And they're, I feel like they try to tell them you don't understand what all goes into this you don't understand it's about energy it's mysterious okay um i will get i'll get karma for this yeah i feel like maybe she started the reading and found out that you're a light worker or you're another high priestess or an earth angel right um all of the above right a chosen one and she's like i can't do it sorry i'm not touching this they could be, um, whoever this is, could be on a vacation and trying to get some kind of tarot card reading from someone on vacation. I don't know. But she still isn't going to do it. She's like, I'm not making my life a, a hot mess for you. Yeah, she's, she's being a straight shooter here. She's telling them the truth. Oh, yeah. So they're finding out who you are, though. She may talk about them, that they've been with a lot of people, that, or they, she could even, um, she may say something about you having a lot of options, but I doubt it. She doesn't want to give them any information about you whatsoever. So maybe she's calling them out on their mistakes, okay, and saying that's why you two broke up. That's about it. That the, because you're a cheater, you cheated, you had too many options, and it's over. This is a connection that's coming to an end. Yeah, and she's telling them, too, that um, they had their chance at uh, Twin Flame Soulmate Connection here. Yeah, you're a divine being, and she's not touching that. Mm -mm. She's calling this person a dog, though. <laughs> She's telling them you had too, too many things going on. She may even tell this person that they could get an STD. Okay. She's telling them that they had too many options and that they were a player and you are not someone who can be played. You know, 
I feel like they're they they she may even be telling them that if this is a divine masculine, um, they're finding out that they were uh, that they were also a divine being and that they've fallen from grace here somehow, right? Because of the tempting, you know, the temptation, because of the cheating, because of the um, sleeping with everybody. I feel like they've, they've been with a lot of people here. They were a player. And she's telling them, you played the wrong person. You played the wrong one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now, um, yeah, victory card. I, I saw the chariot on the bottom of the deck. So you could be a cancer. Or you could be dealing with a cancer. You're moving on. Perhaps. She may even be telling this person that they shouldn't have promised you a future while they were um, with other people as well. All right, what can you show me here? Clarify the slurp. The T. He wants the T on you. This masculine wants to know um, as much as they can about you, but she's, I don't think, she, no, she's not telling them. She's not going to tell them anything more about you at all. They want to know whatever they can find out, but no, she's not telling them any of your personal information she's like nope we're this is where we close this reading right this is the only tea you're gonna get yeah you could be um you could be having tacos for lunch maybe just munching on an apple um you could be having hot dogs maybe a gyro cupcakes you could be having some kind of office party today with donuts and and cupcakes it, it could be somebody's birthday you could be a scorpio um cancer pisces scorpio maybe a taurus virgo capricorn libra gemini aquarius um your person this masculine they could be um a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn or that could be your energy in King of Pentacles energy here yeah this person all they it's like they put you in a third party yeah Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy that's what you could be they put you in a third party here and you're not dealing with it okay you're done I feel like this is um, a twin flame soulmate connection because you still feel this person's energy. You may even be able to pick up intuitively on the things that they're finding out about you. Okay, some of the things that they're saying and doing and how they're feeling. You could be really sensitive to that at this time. Okay. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, though. You're about to get somebody new. Um, I feel like this, whoever knew this is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be somebody fun, exciting, extremely good-looking, okay? <laughs> like, very good-looking. I, I, I don't feel like, um, right now, you could actually be celibate, okay? Or... Um, this could be somebody who may have had other options in the past, this new person, but they've learned their lessons. They are, they're, not, they're no longer chasing after passion. Now they feel like they want to settle down. Okay, They want to change their life around. I feel like you're about to meet someone new. Uh, maybe a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, and you're about to be committed. Um, so I feel like you're going to be in a commitment here real soon with somebody who's stunningly gorgeous, okay? And um, who wants to settle down and wants to be serious and wants to meet the person for them. 
and I feel like this is this this new person coming in yeah I'm feeling like this is an emperor energy okay yeah they're done with being a player now they want a divine feminine and I feel like that's what you are so you're about to um, this person from your past they're about to be replaced <laughs> okay you don't want to be put in any more third parties. You may even know, um, for some of you, this person in your past, they're already in a commitment with someone else. Just playing the field out here. Just I, They could even have some kind of addiction, like, a, like um, addicted to lust, passion. Yeah, you are about to come together with possibly... Um, another twin flame who's been displaced, okay, left behind or whatever, has been through much of the same situation that you have, who, who is working on um, rebuilding their life, learning their lessons, right? This is somebody who's learned their lessons. This, I'm also seeing this as judgment, I have to say. And I just feel like um, this is two people coming together here with the turn of this Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, the, whoever this is in your past, they can't come back in. If they're asking for tarot card reader readings on you, this reader is absolutely refusing to give them any information. So you are very protected right now. Um, and like I said, this reader knows better. She's like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing a reading about a, a divine feminine. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel like your life is going to, uh, it's about to start moving very quickly. Okay. Yeah, very quickly here. This is that chariot. Um, more cancer energy. You're being led forward here on a new path. Okay, this is this is that split. I feel like you're leaving this other person behind. Um, and you're about to bump into somebody new. Could even be, this new person could even be like at higher font stage. Okay. Um, learning spiritual lessons. Very tapped in, very intuitive. Divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Take it how it resonates. And your person from your past, this they're going to have to leave feeling a hot mess, okay? Um, because you're about to get new love collective. Yes. All right, let's see what your fortune is. I know your, uh, your lunch break is only so long, right? You're like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, what is your fortune? Your careful nature will bring you financial success. Okay, so you're about to get a lot of money. Um, make sure you, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's. If it's a contract, have it looked over by uh, maybe a legal advisor. Okay, it's about your careful nature. So be careful what kind of contracts you're signing. You know, you're making very cautious moves right now smart moves I feel like you're making really smart moves here um, but the divine I feel like they want you to keep being careful it's going to bring you to a lot of financial success um, I'm seeing a lot of pentacles in your future okay a lot of money here for you um, and your um, your lucky numbers I wanted to say magic numbers. I don't know why. Um, someone could be trying to do some kind of spell work, but I'm not seeing that. Anyway, your lucky numbers are 7, 11, 20, 23, 27, 35. That's actually really good. I, I'm seeing the, uh, the 11 here. That's a divine number. 23, that's, um, that's this year, 2023. And 23 is a 5. That's change. And you're almost there with a 9. And I feel like all of your um, good positive vibes are going to be coming right back to you. You may be struggling a little bit financially right now, but those, those struggles, that's about to change. 
you're about to have some, there's big changes here with these numbers. So anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. Woohoo! And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.